Welcome everybody to the Warren Wagon edition of Club Trev. We have spent the last two days on the road and in Warren. Mm. Had an absolute blast of a time. Um, Trevor, let's bring you in. Hello. Hello. Mm. How are you, mate? What a great town, isn't it? The people, the people are unbelievable. I mean, well, we, we, we pulled up and we, we can go over what we did at different things, but I'll just talk about now. They normally say there's about six to ten people at the golf club on a Saturday afternoon, and we rocked in today. Oh, I don't know. Was there 150, 200 people? I have no idea. It is packed. We gave, we gave out 100 and... Uh, there's 112 tickets, so everyone here got a uh, lucky door ticket, which we'll talk about. As right. well as and all, then the, all the kiddies. Wow. And then the staff and da 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 da. Yeah. We also got tickets and also won some. Yeah, it's bloody um, great. So we're also, for this first part, we've got uh, Alex here. How are we, guys? Just didn't we scrape the bottom of the barrel? They all want to come on the go. No, do, do someone else first. And Murphy's booked for the last segment, so we want <laughs> everyone now. He's said Can he'd we be make that a separate piece? Yeah, it's 9 o'clock. Yeah, good. That's, um, After hours. R rated that one. <laughs> And producer waited. Mariah, hello. Hi. So how has... Oh, why don't we go back to yesterday before... Actually, no, you know what I'm going to do? Before this all goes off a, and becomes a train wreck later on, as it tends to do, Yep. Um, I'm going to go through and I want to thank a few people first and I want to talk about specifically what we did because a lot of people donated. Yep. We and sure then we did. can have some fun. So we made our way out to Warren. We stopped last night and slept at Nevertire. We did. And uh, camped beside Rota, so we went through Trang Hotel. We met Cooker, who, if you find us on Facebook at Club Trev, um, <laughs> you'll see a bit of Cooker. <laughs> um, and his Cooker action. Yeah. And then we went up to Nevertire, a few beers here, and camped on the side of the road. And It got um, awkward when Cooker started, he came out with his lager phone and then started singing Rolf Harris songs. That <laughs> I thought, oh, where's this going? This could go anywhere. <laughs> uh, luckily, your, your kangaroo wasn't tied down, so that was Alex, right. Alex was there, he's the youngest on there. He's going, pick me, pick me. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, and after that, so for those that might have tuned in the first time, and we've had a massive increase in listeners, obviously, from Warren, yep. and they've supported us. So for those that don't know what we're on about uh, and who we are, um, we are the uh, Pub Talk Podcast. We Trev, certainly that's are. That's how we started, and um, we don't use that line at all. We've just used that line for the first time since the yeah. pilot. It is it is Pub Talk, isn't it? It is Pub Talk, We and so the plan is today to meet a lot of the locals and to get some local stories and have some fun. And we're going to say goodbye to Archie here. See you, mate. So hey, Archie. Archie was the, uh, and he's got the, uh, going to just give him the microphone for a second, Arch. So Archie, just want to say good luck for next week. Archie's the president of the Lions Club, so good luck for next week. I really like to thank you for your, all your help. It's all right. Um, and pleasure. And we very much appreciate it for Senior Citizen Dinner next Sunday. Yep. Thank you for help. Mate, yeah, absolutely. More, more than welcome. It's been our pleasure. Yeah, absolutely. You have a good week. I hope you have a good week. And uh, we'll see. We want to see those photos. And next time we're up, we expect to see you again. So take it easy. Okay. See you guys. Thank you, guys. Some more great locals that were yeah. more than welcoming. So, yeah. So um, we'll get to them in a second. Explain who and what they were. That they um, jump past. They're on their way home. Um, but we anyway. Pub talk podcast. So I talked about it already. Let's get past that. So yep. we decided a few weeks ago we had the the uh, gem of an idea to raise some money for country town. We did pump some money back in the economy. And asked some of the locals from our local Greygums Hotel and people we know to support it, and we were we managed to raise just over uh, in excess of five grand to support yeah, this community, which is unbelievable. Which, given the notice, given who we are, um, a couple of fat drunks from yeah, Penrith, from Penrith, um, is amazing. And uh, to be able to contribute back to this community have been most welcoming, and to have a laugh today and see the smiles on everyone's faces has been an absolute. Uh, what about when we walk down the street and people bit their car horn and wave at us? Yes. Like, oh. I mean, it's like when Alex I'm used to it, but Alex, he, oh, no. <laughs> he couldn't fathom it. I loved it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> before I keep rambling, you guys want to add to what I've just spoken about? Mate, it, it has been good. I mean, and you know what, randomly throughout the whole podcast, we can probably, as we think of people, I mean, yes, we all chipped in money, but, you know, I mean, Joey Bennett, you know, he was unbelievable. Yeah. So I've got our list here. Do you want me yeah. to read them? Oh, you can, yeah, you, 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 can well, well, you know, go the through some. But, um, so Joey Bennett and Penrith Air Supply. Yeah. Yeah. Um, chipped in a, ma- a very, very substantial amount and very grateful for that. Eddie, uh, Steve Chester, Tony Gillespie and AFG Refrigeration. Is that correct, Tony? What have we got? No. Uh, well, Chill Jeff, Flow. Chill Flow. Yeah. I've asked you that before. Mm. I should have asked where we came he on He gets out. it wrong every time. Mm. And Sue, who made up the care packages for the kids. Oh, wasn't that good. Yeah. That, and that Still went off. That. that was a lot of fun. Yep. Um, D, who donated. Oh, God uh, love Deanne. Yep. D, uh, loyal listener. Uh, the girls at the Grey Gums, who not only put together some packages and also gave up their tip jars for a week. So all the girls' tips from last week went towards this cause. Yep. Um, Dan. 
Good who on, couldn't the make it this week. But, uh, Dan he, the Howzo. He's uh, great. Anthony Gillespie, the junior cheeky. Yeah, he's the brains junior of the Dez, operation. The good yep. Mick. Good Mick from the gum was donated. Oh, and shit Mick. And shit Mick. Well, he's going to get to them next. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I want to thank all of the... They're all the substantial financial contributors. Uh, Mariah, do you have something to add You're looking at me. No, no. sorry. Okay. I'm just looking at She's you. She's just got wind. Uh, right, pick up. <laughs> I'll burp her in a minute. Yeah. Um, and um, I want to thank the guys that came along with us and have made this uh, such a good weekend. So I want to go through and thank uh, Robbie, Murph, Mick and Adra, uh, Bri- Frizy, Brian, Alex, who's here, Tony from the camper, Trev, who's next to me. Oh, yeah. I don't want to put you on the list because yeah. obviously yeah. myself, I'll thank me. And, of course, producer Mariah. I didn't think her. Well done, Mariah. She didn't want to be first, so she gets to be last. <laughs> um, but it's been a fantastic effort to do this. To We've gone and spent money in the local IGA, the local butcher. I know Sonia wanted to come. Yeah. She wished she could have come. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, we saw her in the sign driving in. It's only 1,200 k's away to Adelaide, so oh, I was disappointed really? she didn't make she it. She should have just yeah, popped just in the car in the, the morning and just... I mean, yeah. for dinner. <laughs> um, she could have got up here in a little Getz or whatever it is. Or so no, it's not a Getz. <laughs> <laughs> That's the wrong car. I know what it is, and I'll remember it in a so minute. So I just want to make sure, before this whole show goes on a cliff, as it tends to do, I want to make sure we thank everyone that did contribute. Um, all the guys outside and the guys that we thanked on the on the microphone here in person. Um, so thank you. And now you can all speak because I spoke for the last four and a half minutes. Now listen, what about my hat? <laughs> <laughs> right. So we go in, we go into a shop today, and um, my hat's just brilliant. And um, I can't put it on because I've got headphones. Um, Show us. Yeah. yeah. It's um it's a great hat, and no doubt Adrian will put it on. It was uh, sixty seven dollars, and I um with my discount. Yeah. And I uh, ended up getting it. 25% off of yeah. Black Friday. Yeah, Black Friday. And uh, even though it's Saturday, I got it for 52. So, um, yeah, God love 52. It, um, I bought it and everyone, I'm in the shop, everyone, that's unbelievable, Trev. That suits you, that suits you. <laughs> I paid for it, I got outside and they go, you look like shit. <laughs> <laughs> now, you so, wouldn't believe it. I was going to buy one of those hats last week and she wouldn't let me. So okay, I swear that on my three not, children. Yours did not look like that. that kind really? Of yours looked like a, like... Grandpa hat, not a cowboy hat. Yeah, what a grandpa hat. Anyway, we can talk about this off air. Um, <laughs> yeah. But it is a fine hat. It it's is a very good it is, hat. It is a fine hat. And it should be worn every time you drive your Mustang from here to There is a eternity. fantastic photo of him in his Mustang with his <laughs> With my little pointy. pointy yeah, yeah, whatever that is. Shoot a Trev. <laughs> Shoot a Trev. Uh, and you two guys, Alex and Mirai, what have you made of the weekend so far? How was the trip up? You came up in the Mustang and managed to not ride it off, Alex? I know. First of all, thank you to you guys for organising this. It's been a great weekend away and... Next, I'd like to thank Trev for letting me ride in the Mustang. It's been an absolute blast. We did have a little bit of fun. Oh, just just a little bit of fun. <laughs> what stays on tour yep. is absolutely staying on tour. There was no 100%. cameras. Yeah, none at all. Had a bit of fun. And um, geez, it looks like your swag last night. There's balls flying everywhere here. <laughs> Alex was swag that he wasn't in because he was on a mattress on the ground, you mean? Yeah, yeah I was scared that <laughs> Mick and Murph were going to do something last right. night, but thankfully I, I I survived to live another day and we'll That's see how good. we go tonight. Yeah, Murph was in rare form last night. Wait till the day we have Murph and Damage in the same room. Yeah. Oh, dear. Then. Yeah. Um, oh, dear. Mariah, how was your trip? Oh, yeah, no, it was, um, it was good. We uh, did better than I expected for our first trip away together. <laughs> Um, but no, it was it was an awesome drive up. Um, we yeah, a couple stops along the way, getting to see my family in Bathurst as well. Had a nice lunch there, and just yeah, it was it was a nice drive, and it was great stopping in the small towns, just even just having a beer and whatever it was along the way. And they're always um, they're so welcoming, aren't they? Like the, the second you, you open the door, they look at you like who's this, and they realise oh these are out of town, it's going to spend money. They, Hey, how you going? Hey, how you going? They're, yeah. Yeah, and like when we're at Trangy, they 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 were a little bit funny when it's just Adrian and I went for you guys, and then as soon as more people were there, they're like, oh, this is awesome. There's heaps of you, and they went nuts for us all. So Trangy, that was Cooker, wasn't it? That was Cooker. That was Cooker. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to see some fine lager phone work, go and check out our Facebook page. Dennis Sales did comment. Dennis did say. Did did did. did. did did. I was going to say Dennis did say. Mm. Um, Dennis did comment. Um, yeah, have and today. So, what happened after that? So for those that weren't haven't seen Facebook, we came here. We came here. We, we went. No, first of all, we went and spent the money. We, we went and spent some money. We, what about our breakfast? Oh, no, JC's cafe. JC's cafe. Absolutely. Absolutely. Burgo in the corner has given us a thumbs up. What about up. Mariah orders? She goes, um, now the hamburger with the lot. What's on that? <laughs> I look at Mariah. I go, the lot. <laughs> like it's pretty. I wanted to know if there was pineapple on it. Well, that would be the lot. No, but not everyone does pineapple on them. Oh, stop it. Yeah. 
But um, yeah, White had two bacon and egg rolls. Um, Alex had some chicken schnitzel that had half the dead yard stroller on it. It was huge. <laughs> it was huge, wasn't that it? That thing was incredible. Yeah, I mean, Hit the spot. Yeah, we, we did well there, so there was a, quite a few of us there. And... Um, all filled us up. Check out Judy. She's coming on soon. Yeah. <laughs> Judy's had a couple of shardies, I think. She was begging for number yeah. 69 earlier. And yeah. Anyway. But, um, God love I'm Judy. I'm not even joking. What are you going to yeah. do for? I remember when I called it's out so the number. I mean, poor old Judy. She's one of the senior citizens of the golf club. And, yeah. How dare you. She's, she's out drinking all of everyone. But, um, and then what did we do? We went and had breakfast. Then we went straight to the butcher shop. And we, um, I think we spent $800 in the butcher shop. Yep. Did all that. Got some gift vouchers. And we went straight to IGA. And, um, you know, we, we met some nice people there and we actually just randomly just chose some customers and just paid for their, just paid for their groceries, um, as you'll see on our, all our little clips. Yep. You know, I mean, we've been getting messages. Here come they're, the fireboys. Yeah, they're, they've been more than re, um, receptive to all of that. And um, what did we do after that? Then we went to... Uh, so we the IJ. We went to... What's the name of the other one? Spa. Spa. We went to Spa. Spa Supermarket. Spa, spa Supermarket, yep. We went to Spa and spent some money there. We went to Bradsware. Big shout out to Bradsware. They've got a Brad's Cyber Wear. Monday so sale coming up on Monday. Now, what is it? Pandemonium Monday or Schizophrenic Cyber Monday. Monday? Cyber Monday. Cyber Monday. So it's all 25% off until Wednesday for it for the week. Really? So we, that's pretty good. Bought some, that's where you bought your hat. That's where I bought my hat. And we, we bought a couple of hats and some Christmas presents. Yeah. And uh, spent and got some vouchers from there. Brian bought a belt, so he, he didn't did have to hold his pants up with cable ties. <laughs> what a house, though! Cable ties no, are seriously. Only, cable ties are level above a rope belt, so there's yeah. only in a chain of command. I washed myself with a rag on oh, a stick. Fries. Yeah, good what old. What about Bob? he's got a he's got a three gold car tail lights already out as well. Fries, yeah. he's, so. <laughs> he's had it a know. week. And um, so and then we came up here and we thought the first what way to do it, War, uh, workers club, ex service. Went to the service, so. For everyone that uh, might have seen earlier, the plan was to go to the ex-servos. Uh, Amanda, who's sitting over there, actually called us who runs the servos and said, look, it's great, we'd love your business, but in fairness, we're not going to do as good a job as a golfy can of having it. And turned over, essentially, a lot of turnover. Handed over this to the... Uh, Oh. No, yeah, we gave yeah, you got a microphone. Come on, you've got to come on here. Club. That's all right. Are you sticking around for a drink or are you, just, are you still working? No, I'm knocked off. Oh, yeah? Oh, we'll come and have a drink. Thank you. Okay, cool. See Do you. I fix you up for the tab or are we just leaving it? All right, no, cool. We'll fix we'll up someone. I'll fix it next week. <laughs> um, <laughs> Alex will fix yeah, it up. 600. <laughs> um, we threw, and we've thrown 600 in a bar. We've bought, yeah, we, we went and saw some randoms and bought some groceries, which was fantastic. Yep. Made a few sort of mums buying nappies and stuff stay. Yep. And uh, and then we came up, so we came up here. We thought the fairest ways would do a lucky door, and the forty odd prizes we had, we gave everyone a ticket, yep. threw them all out, and there was a lot of very happy people. There was a lot of very happy people, and um, isn't it good? I mean, this is there's still a lot of people here. There's yeah, tons there's of people. Of, here. I hope there's still because we need to do a show after this. Yeah. Oh, there's <laughs> a couple. There's a couple of drunks here that we'll smash them. So the, obviously <laughs> this is show one, and then show two that we can. Yeah, I'm getting the formalities out of the way now. Yeah, good. Um, yeah. You know, it will get messy. You know, most on later, so yeah. it's just there's only a. It is going to get so disastrous. for all the locals of Warren that don't want to be offended. Um, thank you for having us. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, listen next week. Yeah. <laughs> for everyone else, I hope it's going to be a good day, a good evening of entertainment. Um, anything else we want to talk about now, Al? What do we got to chat about? You've got an appointment with the teacher soon. But I do. I'm in detention for some reason, so we'll <laughs> find out why. I, I, I'd cor- like to know why. I was called to the principal's office, or? but a bit of naughty punishment. You never know. Right. Yeah, yeah you're punching above your waist there. <laughs> Jeez. And Mariah, hello. I'm going to bring it back to a little bit more appropriate thing and just say like even just from the advertising like the sorry the communication between the locals here has it's made huge. it it's made it so much bigger than what we could have done on our own and just the, like the little bits the reason why we ended up in a brads where we had a lady message us on the facebook page and just say hey there's this business here go to it and it's just everyone here is wanting to support each other as well and having us here they're so thankful and they're not just trying to take it for themselves they're taking what they like and putting it where they know it needs to go and it's just been oh, taxi yeah, well, there's one in every town there's one in every town it's, it's like not number 74 again is it it's like, <laughs> it's like when the major falls in the pokies everyone turns yeah. around you get a glass um, it, it, yeah it has uh, what about when we walked in the crowd oh. It's, and it, it, we're walking on the streets and they're all going, oh, you are the guys from Penrith, aren't you? And it's just the social media has gone nuts for it and it's been awesome to see. It. And they're recognising, obviously, because the locals here know the locals and having a group of people come through, they know who we are yep. without even knowing us and just from what we're doing. And 
just everyone stopping and just saying thank you. Adrian made the Absolutely. suggestion before we're going to have to come back here when it, after it rains. Now I think yeah. um, see the other yeah, side. It's all right it. to come here Definitely. and uh, be here during the uh, the tougher times and, and help people out. But we want to come back for the party as well. So yeah. we hope yeah. Warren have us back uh, when we can come up here for maybe do a couple of nights, uh, have a good camp out and have a party. Yep. And that'll be fun as well. And I think they'll remember that. us too. Yeah. I hope so. Poor old golf course might be a bit greener. But I'll tell you something about them. So this club two years ago was in all sorts of trouble. No, that's the club. Yeah, no, and this one. Yeah. Right, yeah, they this were in all sorts, they, they the all sorts of trouble. So now they still do not have a greenskeeper. They do not have anyone. It's the people who play golf, the volunteers, look after different holes each, and they look after the course. All volunteer yeah. work. All volunteer work. I mean, you wouldn't get that in Sydney. Like, no. And you, you just have a... And there's I'm not actually, much you can we're do, actually going to get Charles on, because we talked about Charles this earlier. Um, oh, OK. He, he'll he give us a bit of a, the background yeah, of that, right, as okay. well as the bowling green, because it's... Uh, why wouldn't you have a bowling green at a golf club? It's tremendous. Yeah. We should grab some barefoot balls after this, actually. I mean, if you can't, you can just practice putting. That's true. Yeah. It's a like bit of bunker bowl. work. Nothing like putting on a bowling green. Yeah. Um, a bit like Alex. He loves to putt from the rough. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, That's why I'm in detention. Yeah. <laughs> He's hoping for corporal punishment. So. Yeah, um, guys can't even make it 10 minutes <laughs> without being Dude. inappropriate. We try. We try. <laughs> Mm. I've at least gone 12 once, all right, please. Yes. Um, now, uh, we... Like we could probably oh. nearly wrap this first well, section up. Because this is going, <laughs> that cliff's fast approaching. We'll warn everyone about it. Um, I just wanted two more thank yous I need to say. Because, um, like I said, thank you, Amanda. But also thank you, Great Northern, who gave us two kegs to drink at the servos. And we spent... What a beautiful club the uh, services club was. It's it unbelievable. Was outstanding. It's phenomenal. It's one of the best clubs I've been in, just... Good. It is unbelievable. We definitely spend uh, any Saturday afternoon there having a bet and a beer. Definitely beautiful And if I've heard the food is outstanding. We're going to find out if we goes here soon. Um, and I want to thank Andrew and Jane because they came up and offered for us after this to come and uh, throw our swags down at their house. Or even sleep in the spare beds that they've got as well. Or even they've sleep in a bed. Beds. So Alex doesn't sleep on the ground last no, night. that offer was for the ladies. So that's Mariah and Ardra. Yeah, they so they the, got the beds. The ladies can have it. Oh, well, I'm married to one of them. So Well, if I can uh, get the principal... <laughs> you can't give me on somewhere else. Go to a classroom. I've got a spare, spare swag, apparently. So there you go. The Adventure King Double does the job. Um, <laughs> doesn't it? <laughs> doesn't it? Daddy Deluxe. Yeah, I know that last night. What about That's what you should call yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Big Daddy Deluxe. What about what about Adrian? He cut that off the canvas bag and sewed it on his undies. <laughs> he was running around the campsite with Big Daddy Deluxe written on the front of his pants. I mean, turn it up. This is, just, this um, is getting stupid now. Yeah, yes, we need to stop. No, we don't. No, we do. Um, we finally found our niche. It's good. Uh, so thank you to those guys because they've looked after us again. Um, and I'm told that wasn't the first offer we had. I'm told there were half a dozen people that came up and offered to... Really? If we need someone to put our swag to come down. But um, I'm going to let these two go. We'll have Alex back on with uh, Miss Taylor. And <laughs> Miss Taylor? I think oh, we're going to... Principal Taylor. I think Shit. we're going to... Producer Mariah's going to go grab her in a sec. And we're going to have the fire boys who are sitting here. Yeah. I think they're ready for a chat. Right, huh? Yeah, that'll be good. All Let's right. get to it. Back soon. Good start. Well, that leads us into our next two guests, doesn't it? Like, really, look at Shay. <laughs> he, he, oh, oh this first, is going to be fun. Yeah, first, isn't it going to be great? <laughs> first, Shay, first of all, Director Tony's had a fit because it's another. It's our third copyright infringement. But oh, yeah. <laughs> he tries to he tries to keep he tries to keep us in check. Do not silence that. Yeah, that was hilarious. We have to sign waivers. Um, so we're joined by Ben and Shay from the RFS. Yes. Yep. Good um, guys. Mm. How are we, guys? Living the dream. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> and uh, so Shay reached out on Facebook and said, uh, the, you're having your barbecue just out the back here. And we couldn't help but snaffle you guys up. And what about how safety conscious they are? They have a barbecue and there's two people there with hoses and one with a fire <laughs> extinguisher. There is a I mean, just fire band, relax so. a little bit, boys. It's sausages for shit's sake. And it was an electric barbecue. <laughs> oh, like, you haven't seen to start cooking yet. Oh, really? Oh. Yeah. Yeah, right. <laughs> I thought the helmets were a bit excessive, yeah. but anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Need more than a truck when Shay cooks. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> now, I thought you said what happens on the fire ground stays on the fire Yeah, ground. OK, I'll leave that alone. Now, so there. how do you boys, if there's no water, how do you boys fight a fire? With fire. Fighting fire with fire. That's the song we just played. Yeah, see, it is actually. See what I mean? Yeah. Like, so you fight it with fire, burn it back on itself. Is that yep. how it works? Yep. Yeah. Um, we'll burn it back on itself or 
try to use as minimum as water as possible. Right, so you, you know when you become a, a volunteer fire, well, you, what are you talking about? You're not even a volunteer. Let's talk no, to you. Paid. Yeah, he's paid. But so you know when you become a volunteer and you do all the and you go every Tuesday night for however many months and you do that training, and then they have a bit of an evaluation on you. Yes. Yeah. So I know someone. Like mm -hmm. just to say for the example, it's not me. Mm -hmm. And he went and he did it every Tuesday night and he did all that, but then he had an evaluation and he failed. So yeah. you're talking about yourself. Well, well, <laughs> well. Then I told my mum. Yeah. <laughs> well, my <laughs> mum giggled. Yeah. <laughs> because back in the day, and this is the 70s, we lived up the Valley, Valley Heights, which is up the Blue Mountains. Yep. I used to backburn, right? So, yeah, I used to. For I, the fire brigade or just in general? No, for my parents' house because the bush came up. We had oh, back. So you just lit fires when you so were kids. So I used to. Okay. I used to backburn. And then we used to have metal garbage bins back in those days. And Tony, remember the metal garbage bins? So I used to have metal garbage bins in a tree with a rope on it. Yeah. And the rope used to go underneath the tree and I'd burn the bottom and it'd go out onto yeah. the yard. And I had two of the metal bins. So if the fire ever got out of control near the thing, I just pulled the bin and the water came down and put the fire out and I used to back burn. So they thought it was genius back then, but then they thought it was quite comical when I failed the psych test because... Obviously, I do like the fire. <laughs> and I think I was class. Is there a higher risk category? Yeah, I think I was in like a higher risk category and yeah, not asked to come back. I think yeah. that's a psychological issue more yeah. than a fire issue. Yeah, I do. I do yeah. like a fire. Yeah, but, so, how, uh, <laughs> yeah. so how long? Um, how long have you both been doing uh, uh, respectively? So you're employed professionally to be a, to run this? Yeah, that's correct. So I've um, I was actually a volunteer for 17 years now, and I decided to leave my previous profession and um, join the staff ranks of the RFS okay. and i um, been doing that for two years now and um, yeah absolutely loving it. Originally, rewarding? Sorry? Rewarding? Yeah very rewarding. Um, originally from Sydney um, and I was uh, made the offer to come out to Canamble to um, look after the northwest zone which is the Walgut, Canamble, Warren and the Bogan districts and um, just um, for those that might not be aware how big would that area cover how much space would that area cover that that cover actually, that area covers uh, 57,000 square kilometers wow. and there's um, six staff members that um, wow. look after there's only 12 trees yeah. I mean <laughs> have a look around hello <laughs> you know you drive for 48 kilometers and you see one shrub yeah. Ooh, it's on fire oh, no, it certainly is a dust bowl out there that's <laughs> it is for sure. a dust bowl. it is at the moment yeah. yeah and you want to come on this show you're going to get hacked on so yeah, it's really good. Yeah. What about Shay? He goes, oh, just like, you know, I'm, I'm a heap smarter than him, but yeah, he gets paid. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I'm quite happy for him to so take So how long have you been doing it, Shay? Uh, oh, first of all, a bit about yourself. Um, are you, you're, were you local? Yes. Born yeah. and raised here. And uh, born and raised, yeah. Yep. Um, we'll touch just quickly on, I guess, conditions at the moment and why we're here. Um, is it as bad as you've seen, drought-wise? It's the worst I've seen, yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And uh, how's Warren itself going? I mean, we're here. How's it been going last 18 months, 12 months, getting Look, tough? It's been getting tougher and tougher. I actually had a little cafe here in town for a while. Okay. Uh, we it, shut the doors. Simply it burned down. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's inside cooking. job. Yeah, it's inside job. <laughs> yeah. Go, yeah, I'll call the fire brigade. Just hold off for five minutes. Hold off. There we go. The roof's on. Go. Uh, no, we ended up closing because it was, yeah, the just started on us. Yeah. Um, People have got no money, have they? They're not no, making money on the money. land. You're not making money. No, to spend it. and you're that's not making the shops aren't making money. That's it. Yeah. Yep. But, but it is tough. Yeah. Uh, just do what we can do. Yeah. You know? And um, first of all, the community of Warren itself, uh, we've seen today, they're pretty resilient. Like everyone sort of looks oh, after each other and definitely. still do their best and carry on. You look around yeah. now and look, there's people just, like everyone's talking, aren't they? Yeah. Like they're just talking, there's people having a laugh. There's, I mean, there's three drunk ladies here, but yeah, don't Judy's about them. starting to take a top off, but <laughs> apart from that, it's. Who's Judy? <laughs> Number seven. No, she's not number seven. Sure. <laughs> um, anyway, um, so what do you do for yourself professionally now? Apart from uh, at the moment, I've just been laid off work because of the drought. So oh, sorry to hear that. Uh, it happens. It's just one of those things. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I mean, well, it must be. It must be tough. Oh, it is. Back home, we talk about imagine not getting paid for I don't know two months. Well, you're an accountant, so that doesn't count. But for a normal person, imagine not getting paid for two months, three months, four months. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. the government, we hear back at home, like the government, oh, we'll look after you, look after you. What, what do you get, 200, 300 a week? What's that doing? Yeah. 300 a week. I have no idea. I'm not yeah, on the social media. Yeah, better oh, yeah. go through oh, that yeah. in light. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
<laughs> no, prior to that, I was a um, assistant manager on an okay. irrigation farm. So oh, wow. yeah, right. Yeah, it's a bit hard to manage an irrigation farm when there's We've nothing to irrigate. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. And are you local, Ben? Or are you? No. So originally from, like I said, no, originally yeah, from, from Sydney. Sydney. Where are you living now, though? Um, I'm living up at Canamble. Yep. Now, okay, cool. um, so just down visiting the um, the, the local uh, brigade for their Christmas party, and you know a bit of support for them. That so type of thing. Not only does yeah. he get paid, he comes for this freebie. Yeah. Then he'll go to the Canamble. So he's getting paid while he's travelling here. And he goes, oh, but I'm on holidays today. No, I actually you've been, you, you've no, been ticking this straight on your timesheet. No bullshit. No, no, he is actually on holidays. Really? I actually threw him under the bus on this, so... Really? Uh, yeah, right. Well, yeah, the, one of the rules yeah. is don't do anything to get yourself fired. So um, yeah. as long as you are on holidays, cool. Yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, if you're not, you're you absolutely not drinking those beers. Um, so how big is the RFS itself how many volunteers would you have out this way in your uh, area uh, so out this way for the northwest zone uh we've got about uh 1500 volunteers yep. uh, wow. which is made up of 78 brigades um wow. and uh out of the 78 brigades we've actually got 23 stations a lot of the um other brigades have the trucks just on their their property so the local farmers they're a great support to the rfs and They'll um, house the vehicles yep. for us in their farm sheds. So when you're out here, it, it could take 20 minutes to get to a fire. Oh, it, it could take like 30 more minutes, than 40 minutes, like oh. quite easy. Yep. Yeah. Oh, quite, wow. quite easily. Look, it, sometimes it takes 20, 30 minutes just to get the truck rolling out here because of the. Like, People have got to come from their work, which could be well, oh. wherever they're working. Yep. You get to the truck and then make sure the trucks are, yep. then get the crew to go, yeah. I would imagine the crew or whatever you want to call it, yep. and then, then to get to the fire, well that could be anywhere. Yep, yep. exactly Out right. here, I mean it's nothing to drive 30k, 40k, 50k, oh, whatever. whatever. Some, some brigades we get them to drive like an hour to go to a fire for us. I just give up. So I'd say, you know what, we're not coming, it's gone, an hour worth of burning, yeah. it'll be gone. Yeah, it is. Yep. Oh, look, I've, I've um, gone out on calls where I've travelled up to 120 k's, so... And when yeah. you get there, Just what's happening? I mean, okay, if, if it's bushfire, it's going to continue is there to many, burn, but if it's a house fire, say, it's is it gone. Any, like domestic fires, or is it a lot of oh, it's, control? It's, or it's a mixture of both, you know, like, the unfortunately, the farmers out here, they've, um, they've taken a hit because of the drought, and, yeah. you know, they're spending a lot of their time feeding what cattle or sheep... Um, yeah. that they do have and sometimes, you know, um, as sad as it is, the RFS have to actually take a step back and because they're, the farmers' priorities are actually in feeding what stock they've got. So, yeah. Yeah. you know, um, it's, it's yeah. quite sad out here. That's rough. Um, hopefully, I mean, hopefully in the near future, rain is the most important thing. Hopefully yep. that's the first thing and <laughs> yeah. it kickstarts everything. Um, in terms of as a fire service, are you getting the support you need? I'm going very AM here. This is weird. <laughs> oh, let's talk about fun stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah let's talk about. This. All right, this is let's weird. Let's talk about fun stuff. What's the best thing you've ever done on the truck? Yeah. <laughs> and you just yeah, press no, the siren. No, definitely get us fired. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> oh, who was she? <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't the. Like, it wasn't the teacher. It wasn't. Tell me, it wasn't a Dalmatian. Uh. <laughs> oh, look. As a as a volunteer, you know, we've we've had a bit of fun on the trucks, you know, um, back at home, you know, we, we'd go to the local um, uh, golf uh, place and, yeah. you know, hit a um, bucket of balls for an hour or so, um, but the best call I think I've ever been on, uh, to be honest with you, was a koala stuck up the wrong tree. <laughs> So, <laughs> really? Yeah, Nothing serious. worse when your koala stuck up your wrong tree. <laughs> <laughs> I hate wow. that when that happens. I was going to ask you that. So what was the situation? <laughs> Just the koala shouldn't be there. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So it was actually, um, I don't know if you remember Skippy. Yeah. It was, yeah. It was in um, Skippy Park. Wow. In, uh, at the back of Duffy's Forest there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so um, we Mount got... Mount Yep. Yeah, so, right. Um, we got called from the locals at Skippy Park there to say, look, there's a koala up a tree. Can you come and get it? And... We get there and it's like, it's a koala, it's <laughs> meant to be in a tree. <laughs> so, it's well, probably... I was going to ask about a cat. But that's, no, what we that's, call, that's what we call him, a koala. He just <laughs> eats roots and leaves. <laughs> She's here. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> wow. See, that's what she usually does. Um, yeah, you're distracted, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm not, no, I'm not distracted. Oh. Um, what about you, Shay? Same thing? Any, any stories you can share that are... 
Well, his best story no, is he was actually the one dressed up in the koala suit. <laughs> <laughs> so it was a six foot two koala. Yeah, it was a six. Ah. <laughs> one of those. No, it's actually quite quiet out here. Drop koalas. Um, yeah. 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 Funny story wise, we don't really get that many yeah. of them. But to be yeah. honest with you, we, most of the time we go out to a fire, it's someone's place or it's a yeah, hay shed, you know. It'd be pretty hard. You know most of the people here. Yeah, yeah. And their shit's on fire, like, and it's. I suppose at least some of these houses are fibro or whatever they are. Yep. yep. They're gone. Yep. Like you know, it's hardwood inside. It'd be all hardwood in that. that once that catches fire, it's yeah, it's it, burning. It, it's you're not yeah. going to put it out. You know, you can't put it out. No. And oh, that'd be terrible. Yeah. Wow. Well. And as a community, so as the uh, RFS community, like the guys that they have you having your barbecue, uh, quite close knit. Like make friends through it. Is it quite a yeah, good definitely, community? Definitely. Definitely close knit community. Like together in the brigade itself. Um, you can always do with more members but yeah. and volunteers and that coming in. Well, we get some tonight. That drunk bloke over there, he'd be great, <laughs> <laughs> wouldn't he? Fire, we're going to die. Oh, if he has to go to the toilet, to go exactly. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. No no about. Yeah. Um, cool. So, thanks for joining us. Anyway, uh, anything you want to add before we go? Any any other stories you want to share? Anything you want to add? Oh, look. Any shout outs you want to give? Plugs. No, look, I'll, I'll just throw out, you know, it, it is permit season, so uh, people please remember uh, if you're going to light up on your properties, um, contact the RFS, make sure that they're aware and um, make sure you've got your permit. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. good yeah. warning, I yeah, suppose. Yeah, good. Yeah, and, and, um, otherwise you have Ben knocking on your door. Yeah. <laughs> Shade dressed in a koala suit. <laughs> But yeah, definitely. Guys. A five foot angry person. Yeah, <laughs> five foot. You want to talk, Shaquille O'Neal? Look at you. <laughs> God, I'd ask you for ten bucks, but you're a little short today. <laughs> but no, if um, people want to help out, definitely join up. Yeah, join right. How can they get in touch? Brigade. Is there a uh, same deal? Contact your local fire brigade. Yep. Um, you can go through fire control centre. Just, Just yeah. Anyway. Go and see your local member. Local. Try and figure out a way to pass that psych test. I tried to outdo them and they got me. <laughs> <laughs> now, most oh, of it's pretty lighting easy. Stop lighting the fire, yeah. a start. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Some people just can't I shouldn't be have gone for that test and just <laughs> flicking the lighter as I'm like, oh, I'm all right. I'm all right. I'm yeah, no, no, Twitch is a giveaway. Never, never yeah. a good giveaway. Yeah, yeah right. Okay. okay. Uh, thanks for joining us, guys. Mate, it's we'll been see. fun. Yep, thanks for coming on. I uh, oh, hope you enjoy the rest of the barbecue. Sorry, then um, we'll come and have a beer for you outside soon. So sounds good. Come join us. Good, catch up soon. All right, cheers, boys.